For nearly 40 years, the Japan Exchange and Teaching Program has sent professionals from all over the world to work in Japan as assistant language teachers, coordinators for international relations, and sports exchange advisors. This year, our office had 146 applicants. After application screenings and interviews, 52 ALTs and one CIR were selected from the Seattle pool of applicants for the program. On the eve of their departure, Consul General Inagaki held a reception for this year's Pacific Northwest Jets to celebrate their send-off. Guests included interviewer panelists, Jet alumni, and community members. Before the reception, the Jets gathered for a pre-departure orientation where last-minute questions were answered. At the reception, Emily Eisman spoke on behalf of the Jets, encouraging and inspiring them for their departure the next day. We have a chance to bring real change to our students, their education, and their connection to the international community. We wanted to give the group a last bite of America, so we served hamburgers from a local restaurant, Little Woody's. It could be a while before they have an American hamburger again. During the reception, we got a chance to ask a few departing Jets to share their thoughts on their upcoming venture. What was the first thing that sparked your interest in Japan? I was a sophomore in high school, uh, and I was lucky enough to have a two-week-long study abroad program. It would probably be from my dad. He was in the Navy and he was stationed in Japan. Actually, I was born in Japan, though I don't remember it. Um, my parents were English teachers. They lived there for about five years. What's your favorite Japanese food? You know, I kind of like fast food, so I, uh, I appreciate katsu. Oh, yeah. Raw, I, I think a nice beer and ramen combo. How did you feel when you were accepted to the JET program? I messaged everyone I knew, uh, announcing my good news. And I haven't looked back since. <laughs> really excited. Um, preemptively missing my cat already. I was so happy. I was like, I made it. I've been working towards this for a couple of years at that point. So I was just like, I did it. Was there one piece of home you just had to bring with you? I have uh, a little photo book of myself and my family, myself when I was very little and my grandparents who passed this about a decade ago. And they were always supportive of my studies and of traveling and I couldn't be here without them, so I'm bringing them with me. I brought my guitar. Um, I can't go anywhere without it. I had to bring my uh, complete poems of Yeats. This was my slice of home. Good luck to the 2023 Jets. Want to start your own JET adventure? Learn how to apply at the JET Program USA website.